So John, kind of explain to me what AIS is and uh, kind of how we're seeing this other boat, uh, this Garmin boat that's kind of going out with our uh, Boat Tech Colton in it. Yeah, so AIS can be integrated with our VHF unit. Uh, and here is our uh, Garmin Marine VHF 215 AIS unit. And what that's doing is, is that is actually receiving an AIS transmission from that boat over there. So if we pan down to the navigation screen here, we can see that other boat. And there's a little bit of misalignment with the radar coming around and that AIS only because that AIS is not broadcasting at a very refreshed rate all the time. They're going pretty slow, so it's going to be a slow transmission on their part. Once they get up and going, that's when you're going to see those fast transmission rates. So John, at some point, if we look at the screen right here, that radar return is going to match up with his AIS target as he starts getting on plane and goes a little bit farther? Yes, that's correct. We'll be able to follow him on plane with our radar and that AIS unit all on one on our nav screen right here. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and highlight the AIS target with our finger. And then we're going to go ahead and select that vessel. And here is going to bring up all the information with regards to what that boat is broadcasting. So it's a pleasure craft. Here's its MMSI number. Here's the call sign Garmin 1. The uh, AIS target is coming up as a dangerous target, not because it's going away or coming towards us, but because we are within that geofence of roughly one and a half mile. So now that boat has exited the geofence where it is a considered safe and active target. We're just keeping track of it, but it's considered safe in the green format. So John, tell me why you want to have both AIS and radar on your boat at the same time. Uh, we talked about how the refresh rate sometimes when the boat goes a little bit slower doesn't show exactly where the boat is. So is that kind of where radar comes into play that really shows you where they're at in real time? Yeah, that's exactly right, Levi. And in fact, when it's at that slower refresh rate, that's when you'd move over to those targets on your radar to get those updated targets on your nav screen. So at this point, Colton's headed back towards us, is that correct? Yeah, right now that radar target is headed back towards us, and here you can see them start to overlay. And because it is coming towards us at a quick rate of speed, you can see that the nav screen has isolated that as a more dangerous target. And don't be surprised, you will see a sinking boat right down here in 33. It's counting us down to when we will have that intersection or collision. So we're just going to follow him on the radar target. There they are. They intercept it again. You can see these buoys here. And we should see that boat slow down once they're inside those buoys. There we are. So let's go ahead and see what the vessel rate of speed is. We're down to 7.7 .7 miles per hour. Up top, we have the Shakespeare antenna linked over to this Garmin VHF215 AIS unit here. We're set to Pleasure Channel 71. This allows us to talk to other boats of our class. The most important channel, though, and out of the box, our VHFs are going to be set to a 16. Uh, 16 is a distress channel only, and then any notice to Mariners is going to be broadcast on channel 8. So you're going to flip back and forth between those two. Let's do a radio check here with Colton here. I've changed just over to uh, channel 71. Colton, Colton, this is Ranger 1. Do you copy? This is Ranger 2. I have a copy. Over. Roger that. Over out. And that's all it is. So that's really important uh, for boat to boat uh, communication. So let's say there's a rules of the road. Uh, incident that's about to happen. One person doesn't know the rules of the road over another. You can hail them on the radio and make sure that they're aware of the situation. Uh, another handy one is if you're on the ICW, you can contact the bridge operators and uh, make sure that bridge is going to go up and down, allowing you to pass through.